Well, day three of the draft has officially started, but we actually got to go back to day one for this one because there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of controversy and there were a lot of different thoughts when the Ravens selected Kyle Hamilton with their very first pick in the draft. And a lot of people automatically thought, well, you know, Kyle Hamilton, he's going to be on the field. He's a first round pick. He's a defensive player for the Ravens. He will be seeing that field. He ain't going to be riding the pine. No, he will be on the field and then he'll be on the field a lot. A lot of people are thinking about a lot of three safety sets. A lot of people are thinking that Chuck Clark, he could be around the box a lot more now. Because that's especially what I was thinking. Like, all right, you ain't going to have Chuck roaming the backfield. You're going to have him up around the box. And you can interchange the safeties and have Kyle Hamilton around the box too. You can have him doing different things, which is fine. But now, but now, according to Mr. Jason Lockham Ford, and I, I know a lot of Ravens fans are like, oh, Jason Lockham Ford. So expect the opposite. But uh, I don't know about that because... The last thing that Jason LaConfora reported on that I caught was that the Ravens, they were shopping Miles Boykin in hopes of trading him. And if they weren't going to trade him, then unfortunately he would be released. And look what happened. Look what happened. So with this, his story on Chuck Clark, and I remember the last time he did some reporting on Chuck Clark. It was with Chuck Clark and Earl Thomas was in a little boxing match. So I would actually believe what he said. And it, it, makes, it makes sense. It makes sense. If the Ravens feel like, all right, we really got our guy at safety. Now it's going to be Marcus Williams and uh, Kyle Hamilton. We got our safeties of the future. And we got them literally for the next five years. Literally. Because... Marcus Williams signed a five-year, $70 million deal. Uh, Kyle Hamilton, he's a first-round draft pick, so they have him under a four-year contract with a fifth-year option. So they literally have their safeties for the next five years. And with Eric DaCosta, like he said before and he's shown that as well, he likes to get stuff done early rather than later. And it goes both ways. He likes to get players' contracts extended early, but he also likes to cut players early rather than later. And in this case, with Chuck Clark, uh, Jason Lockham Ford said Clark has two years left on an extension that he signed. Uh, Ravens have been forthright about trading established players, uh, Hayden Hurst, Orlando Brown Jr., Hollywood Brown as well, um, whose role was likely changing Chuck Clark's role. Oh, oh, he's talking about all these different established players. My fault. So Ravens have been forthright about trading established players whose role was likely changing. When asked whether or not the safety had requested a trade, Chuck Clark's agent, Seth Katz, declined to comment. Okay, that's interesting right there. Because Chuck Clark, he knows the business. He ended up getting his spot when Tony Jefferson got hurt. Chuck Clark was not even supposed to be in this spot that he's in right now. But that's the NFL. In, in, in the NFL, injuries provide opportunities. Tony Jefferson went down. Chuck Clark went in. Boom. The rest was history. The rest was history. Um, but Chuck Clark knows, okay, they, they took a safety. They got a safety. They signed a safety to be next to me. They signed him for five years, 70 mil. Well, but, oh, then they drafted a safety? What? What does that mean for me? So if they did request a trade on from Chuck Clark's camp, it wouldn't be no shock or surprise. I'm very interested to see what type of role Chuck Clark would have in another defense. I'm very interested to see that. I wonder how they would use him, how they would maximize a Chuck Clark. But something that I am um, thinking about, something that I am uh, concerned about, um, not, not necessarily with Chuck Clark. And it, it was a conversation that we had a lot on here that the Ravens, they had a lot of safeties. They had like a lot of safeties. They got seven safeties right now. We know ain't all seven going to make the roster. Uh, and now it seems like oh, maybe Chuck Clark might not even be on the roster, but they got seven safeties right now. If they are to trade Chuck Clark, um, I think that they would probably trade him. Well, obviously, we, we in the fourth round right now as we speak, but um, I would think more stuff for next year. Maybe a late round pick this year, but more so maybe like a, a fourth or fifth next year. I, it, it wouldn't be obviously wouldn't be anything significant this year because we're in the fourth round now. But um, one thing that I'm concerned about, minus Chuck Clark, because they've already taken care of that. But Ravens have had a pattern. You see Hayden Hurst, they traded him away. He's a good player. You see Orlando Brown Jr., 
They traded him away He was a good player You see Hollywood Brown They traded him away He was a good player And my thing has not even been My biggest issue has not even been The fact that they've traded these guys away Because Hayden Hurst he wanted out because of the lack of opportunity that he was getting. He's a first-round pick. He was supposed to be the guy, but then he got hurt. Mark Andrews stepped in and showed out. Got it. Hayden Hurst wanted out. Orlando Brown Jr., he wanted to be paid as a left tackle. He said, I'm a left tackle. I want to be paid as such. Understood. He said it wasn't about the money. I think it's about the money because left tackles get paid a lot more than right tackles. Both of them get paid a significant amount of money, but left tackles make even more bread. But either way, I, I, if it was about the money, I ain't mad at that. He, ain't, he knew the Ravens weren't going to pay him after they paid Ronnie Stanley. Okay, I ain't mad at that. Go get your bread, Orlando Brown Jr. He wanted out. Hollywood Brown. And we're going to dive into the Hollywood Brown. We just haven't had time to dive into his interview with I Am Athlete, which we did watch. We watched it. Cause I know as soon as that interview came out, probably got like 20 direct messages. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. So we're going to dive into that later. But Hollywood Brown, he wanted out because of the opportunity. The system wasn't right. And we're going to get into all that later. But Hollywood Brown wanted out as well. So all three of those guys, they wanted out. Oh, Ravens on the clock right now. Wow, good timing. But anyway, all three of those guys, they wanted out. But guess what? Guess what? With Ravens, my concern is how will they replace those guys? Hayden Hurst, they never replaced him. They never replaced him. Never. They brought in Eric Tomlinson. They've had... Uh, Nick Boyle wasn't a replacement for Hayden Hurst But they tried Josh Olive They just never replaced Hayden Hurst With Orlando Brown Jr. They never replaced him They signed Alejandro They never replaced Orlando Brown Jr. The, the, the replacements for, the, for the, the Ravens so far There's been a lack of quality in the replacements When they trade away these guys So I'm just That's kind of concerning to me as far as with Hollywood how are they going to because again we still trying to place, replace Hayden Hurst we still trying to replace Orlando Brown Jr and they did sign Morgan Moses and we'll see what Jawan James does if he's healthy they still got Patrick McCarry you still you got some options but last year they they traded him away and did not replace him with quality so I'm hoping that the same thing does not end up happening with a Hollywood Brown so it's just something that I've been thinking about. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, and I'm going to actually end up seeing y'all very soon after this uh, because the Ravens are getting ready to make their selection. So team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like Chuck Clark could end up being when it comes to being a member of the Baltimore Ravens, I'm out.